Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's about that time. Let's go take that walk and see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Revolution Brewing. These guys are in Illinois. This is Death Star. Uh, and this is a barrel aged Russian Imperial Stout. And uh, this was sent to me by Dave. He actually sent me a four pack of these. Uh, pretty sure this is not a cheap beer to buy. Being a big whopping 14.8%. Uh, and he sent me a four pack of these, so uh, very pricey beer. So Dave, thanks again, my brother. I do appreciate you sending me the big beer mile package that you sent. Uh, this uh, I have had several of the different Revolution beers that have been sent to me. They're not available here to me. Uh, this is here brewed in Chicago in big letters. Uh, and Fourteen point eight percent. And it says it was uh, canned on November the 9th of 2017. And being a 14, almost a 15 percenter, this beer is going to keep for a long, long, long time, I would think. It doesn't say anything about any coffee being used in this brewing process on this beer. So uh, I'm expecting this to be pretty tasty. The guys at Revolution do some nice stuff. Really tasty. The guys up in the Chicago area, uh, I'm sure y'all... Uh, you know, appreciate uh, having a, a great brewery like Revolution, and uh, they do some tasty stuff, guys. So I don't think I've had any of their dark beers uh, before. So uh, we'll see what this one brings to the table. Uh, we're gonna run over to Untapped, and Untapped says it's 27 IBUs. Their commercial description says, "Witness the firepower of this fully." Operational barrel aged imperial oatmeal stout brewed with English specialty malts and addition of flaked and malted oats to create a rich chocolatey profile and sick, silky mouthfeel that cloaks its considerable strength. The American oak barrels continue to build layers of complexity reminiscent of vanilla, toasted coconut, and caramel candy after aging this dark menace a full 12 months. Wow. Uh, that tells me, that just reinforces what I said. This is not uh, probably a cheap beer to buy, especially uh, being a, almost a 15 percenter and barrel aged for a whole year. Uh, a four pack of this is probably pretty damn pricey. So Dave, thanks again my brother. I do appreciate it sir. Uh, We've got the ABV, we got the IBUs, we got the canned on date, we got the information. Uh, so it's time, final beer of the evening for me, guys. Uh, it looks like I spent a little bit of money on uh, on the packaging here. Uh, has a black top on it, and it uh, uh, looks like the can it doesn't have a wrapper or anything on it. So they've had these cans uh, specially printed up to put the beer in it, which makes that a little more expensive. So uh, let's pop the top on this thing. And Get it into the glass and see what we got. Yeah, it looks pretty dark coming out. While I'm pouring this, I'll say the food pairings uh, says here is general chocolate dessert digestive. Glass for a pint, Becker Nonic Tumbler Snifter. I got my favorite tulip glass. And it says here can be cellar for a long period of time. As long as I didn't use any coffee in the brewing of this, it probably will keep for a long, long, long time, guys. And uh, seeing that he had sent me a whole four pack of these, I'm probably going to sell her some of these, probably the rest of them, for a little while. 
uh, about a quarter finger of head on that pour. Uh, pitch black, guys. Not getting any light through it at all. To the nose we go. Definitely getting some of the barrel aging on this. Nice bourbon notes, doesn't seem to be overpowering, doesn't seem to be off the chain uh, for something that was in the barrels for 12 months. Maybe it wasn't first run barrels, I don't know. I don't have that information. Rich roasted malt, maybe some uh, black molasses. Maybe you have some dark fruit in there that'll probably come out once it warms up, it's right out of the fridge. That was pretty good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Dave. That's absolutely delicious. That is absolutely delicious. And the more, like I said, it's right out of the fridge. Every time I put my nose to it, it seems like I'm getting a little bit more bourbon. And all those notes will probably come out. Now that I'm flapping my gum, I'm getting some vanilla and coconut. And all those aromas and tastes will come out a little bit more as it warms up, which I always let it do. It smells better every time I put my nose to it. I don't find this boozy, but if you've never had a beer of this magnitude, you probably will find it boozy. I love these bourbon barrel-aged versions of these Russian Imperial Stouts. They are awesome. Probably one of my favorites. And this uh, seems to be rather damn tasty here, guys. So let me sip on this a little bit. I may have set that on the deck and fire up a soga to go with this. Let her taste it, and we'll come back and uh, after it warms up and uh, see what we got. All right, guys, I'm back. I just a little left here. I was expecting a little bit more lacing on the glass with uh, all the oats that they've used on this beer, uh, but it's uh, pretty clean. Uh, it was a very tasty beer. Uh, Nice bourbon notes. Alcohol is fairly well hidden for a, almost a 15 percenter. Maybe a slight hint of some uh, some bittersweet chocolate. Uh, definitely got the uh, uh, the oak from the barrel aging and the bourbon. Maybe a hint of some coconut. A very nice beer. A very, very nice beer. A great final beer of the evening, which it is for me. These guys at Revolution do some really tasty stuff. Wonderful aroma. Uh, I enjoyed this beer. Very tasty. Final choke. Very well done. Very nice bourbon notes on this beer. Of course, I was expecting that. Because in the bourbon barrel for 12 months, you wouldn't get those bourbon notes unless it was a, a barrel that had, had beer in it before. Which I don't think this one had. But, very tasty. I enjoyed it. Very nice. Very enjoyable beer. Guys, to me, I'm on the fence between a 9 and a 10. Uh... Because of all the oats they said they used on this beer, I'm not getting that creamy mouthfeel that I was expecting to get. Everything else is, is very, very nice. So, uh, to me, guys, uh, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10, but it's kicking the door down on the 10. Uh, I'm going to give this a 99. Uh, if you say, oh my God, it's a 10 beer, um, I would not argue with that. To me, guys, I think it should be a little creamier with the oats that they've used. But it's still very enjoyable. I would buy this beer here, guys, if I could get it here. Very, very nice beer. Uh, I don't know what uh, what Dave paid for a four-pack of this. Like I said, I don't think it was a cheap four-pack to buy. If I was guessing, it, I would say it was probably in the $20 range or more uh, for four of these 12-ounce cans. Uh, 
being in the barrel for 12 months before they package it. That, that adds cost to the beer. Those barrels are sitting there taking up space in the brewery. So, uh, very enjoyable. I, I did enjoy this beer. Very tasty. Uh, let's run over to Beer Advocate and they say 4.31, which is in their A- minus range. I think it's a better beer than that. Uh, that's why I gave it what I did. Uh, over to Untapped, they have 4.38 uh, 4.39 and that's definitely in their A range guys uh, very tasty beer uh, I enjoyed this uh, uh, very pleasant very pleasant final beer of the evening uh, for me guys so uh, and I have three more of these uh, in the closet to, to drink at my leisure so Dave once again my brother I do appreciate you spending your hard earned money on this and uh, sending them to me uh, it was very very tasty uh, that's all. Uh, we're going to wrap it up with that, guys. Uh, we've got Beer Advocate and Untapped. Uh, you got my ratings on this. Uh, very, very tasty. A great rep uh, rendition or uh, of example of what a Russian Imperial Stout aged in bourbon barrels should be. And uh, with 14.8%, I think that alcohol is hidden very well for that big of a magnitude of a beer. Uh, so, uh, but if you're not used to drinking something of that magnitude, you could, you may find this a little on the boozy side. I do not. I do not. Uh, very pleasant. So, if you've had this one from uh, Revolution Brewing, their Death Star, this is their 2017 edition. Let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.